Okay, so I just did a lot of research on what the cheapest, simplest way to make your own homemade laundry detergent for somebody with sensitive skin. And this is what I think is the best recipe. This is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm actually going to show the video making it and actually washing some dirty clothes and letting you know live how it comes out. So if you look online, you will see a whole bunch of different recipes. You will see different amounts of things. You will see different things in the laundry detergent. Some people use borax, some don't, some use the baking soda, some don't. Um, you can use ivory, fells, naphtha, or zoat. Some people don't use it at all. Some people use oxy, some people don't, etc. So there's a whole bunch of different variations. You can do liquid, you can do powder. So again, um, the purpose of this video is for a single mom making the absolute cheapest way possible that will really work and um, that's a powder and for sensitive skin. So after all my research, this is what I decided to do, to use one bar of ivory soap. And when you chop it up, because what I did is that everything's in here, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. Um, I, gr I grinded, ground, grinded, whatever, <laughs> this up first. And one bar is essentially one cup. So I did one cup of ivory. I did one cup of washing soda. The box is different than the box I usually see, but it's the same thing. Uh, so one bar of ivory, one cup of super washing soda, and then I did a half of cup, half a cup of baking soda. Put it all in this glass jar. First thing I did, like I said, was I mixed this up in the Nutribullet first, and then I um I put it at. Now it depends if you have a blender or a Nutribullet, but either way, you want the soap to be the furthest away from the blade. So in the neutral bullet, that's why I put it in first because you don't want it to get stuck in the blade. So again, there's the one cup of ivory or one bar. There's the one cup of washing soda and half cup baking soda. Um, I did read that this is basically a lesser version of this. Is that true? I don't know. I'm not an expert just doing this for the first time. Um, washing soda is sodium carbonate as you see there and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate but I heard that if you want to have it be a little bit gentler of a formula that's why I use the baking soda so that's why I use the half cup of that okay so that all being said everything is is in here and I am gonna go ahead and mix it up all right so <laughs> yeah so I'm glad this is a live test. Now, I think that this formula that I have here is pretty good. However, I don't necessarily recommend using the Nutribullet to do this because I'm gonna show you what happened here. I think this will work a lot better if you use like a food processor or maybe a blender. But as you can see, it did mix it up. But this is what happened on the first take. As you can see, it kind of got caught around there and it gets caught in here. So it's kind of um, what makes the machine stop. But that being said, it did do its job. But again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Nutribullet, but we got what we needed. So let's go ahead to the washer. Before we go to the washer, I just wanted to show, I just used a container. You can really use any container to put it in. That doesn't look like a lot, but when you're only using one to two tablespoons, that is a good bit. And what I did just for me to remember, I just put down exactly what the recipe is here, and I am going to do a vinegar rinse in a downy ball. And let's go down and test it out. Okay, and as you can see, there is a little bit of clumps, but those actually aren't the ivory. They're just clumps, so if you kind of just smash them, they go away. Um, I think that's because, again, I used the uh, Nutribullet, and again, I do not recommend using the Nutribullet, but... Thankfully, it did its purpose for this particular load. Oh, see, look, there's another ball. Kind of smashed it against the side, and it just breaks apart very easy. So it is mixed pretty well. So I am using this test. It is on the biggest load, on superwash, and I have it on cold. This is basically towels. They kind of smell musty, and my toddler had peed on one of the towels. So this is a true test. So I have a tablespoon here. I'm going to use two tablespoons 
because it is extra soiled. All right, and we will be back down for the vinegar rinse again. And I'm sorry if maybe I didn't say this, but I would use a downy ball and have that filled with vinegar. But since I don't have a downy ball, I'm going to just come down whenever the rinse cycle is. Again, just making this first time live, kind of, well, I guess it's not live, but just seeing how it turns out. I, I've been researching it for a while, so I hope this little concoction I came up with actually works. Also, make sure that the container is a container that you can seal so no moisture gets inside. And just wanted to point out, there's no suds. This um, formula won't have any suds. People think that when there's suds, that means that it's really getting clean. But it doesn't necessarily mean that. It is in there. It is getting it clean. But there's not going to be any suds. Okay, I just used some distilled white vinegar. And they say a downy ball holds about a half a cup. So... That's what I am using and it is currently on the rinse cycle. So we are going to put this in. And I did hear that um, your clothes will not smell like vinegar at all. Also, I heard that the vinegar kind of neutralizes out the washing soda because if the washing soda doesn't completely rinse off the clothes, it can cause some skin irritation. So I heard that vinegar helps. So. All right, we'll see how it is when they're done. Okay, so they just got done, and here is the first test. This towel is very stinky with pea smell and mustiness. So let's see. Yeah, doesn't smell like that at all. Let's see this one. So... Another reason why I use the ivory is because at least it has a scent. However, I don't really smell the ivory scent on the towel, but they don't smell bad. I mean, they smell clean. So I am going to put them in the dryer for the final test. All right, they are in the dryer. Okay, the towels are done drying. Here is the moment of truth. They smell clean, they feel clean. Oh, and here is a rag, and this had dirt all over it, so let's see. Yeah, considering it's a rag, it, that's pretty clean. That was a dirty rag. So, I just want to smell one more here. They smell completely clean. Now, the ivory does have a scent, but it does not actually smell like ivory. But it doesn't smell musty like they did. They smell clean. They feel clean. So, I would say, besides using the Nutribullet, um, that was a successful recipe. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching.